Hi and welcome to Gamereactor TV. Today we're taking a look at a set of PC speakers. This is from Logitech and it's the C Cinema Advanced Surround Sound System. Now as you can see this is a 2.1 setup meaning you have two satellites and a subwoofer. A neat feature about this set is that it connects via a USB cable meaning you get a 100% digital transfer of the sound and you bypass your internal sound card. The design is a glossy piano black and it has a silver metal trim all the way around both on the satellites and the subwoofer. Now this set doesn't have a lot of inputs and in fact you only get a headphone out and input for for example mp3 players. There are no physical buttons on this system so you can't activate the satellites on the satellites themselves. You have to use this remote which comes with it and as you can see it has a Windows Media Center logo on the top here which means this set is fully prepped for Windows Media Center and actually works best with Windows Media Center. Now as I said this system connects via a USB cable which means it's very easy to install and you don't have the fuss of uh, all the cables from a 5.1 setup. Uh, you control it via this remote so let's just turn it on as you can see, this is the overlay of the program, uh, and I'm just going to start a music program here. Now, this big wheel here, this is what you use to control the volume. In the middle, we have a black button, which lets you control the bass, treble, center, and surround volumes. And given that this is a 2.1 setup, that might just not initially makes sense but with some built-in software called SRS True Surround HD you actually get the option to enable a virtual kind of surround sound which expands the sound field from these two speakers to uh, emulate um, uh, surround with only two speakers uh, and this this is very good for people who don't have the room to accommodate a full 5.1 set or people who don't want to mess with all the cables since this is a speaker system, I of course have to mention the audio quality and overall I have to say the audio quality is quite nice in this system. Uh, the bass has a lot of punch to it, it's quite strong and the speakers themselves also sound quite nice. Uh, although in regular stereo they are a bit flat. However, adding the SRS True Surround HD to it uh, brings a lot of vibrancy and uh, definition to the sound field. It spreads out a lot more and you actually feel that you have a center speaker and to some extent some something in the back as well uh, although I have to say it can't quite make up for a true 5.1 system um, so if you're looking for that you should look to something else uh, the audio uh, volume also isn't quite as loud as I could have wanted it I was watching some movies and I wished I could have turned it up just a little bit more but that might have been a solution a solution from uh, Logitech uh, to keep the sound crisp and clear and avoid any distortion or unwanted noise. So, with that being said, should you go out and buy this set of speakers? Well, I have to say overall I was very pleased with the audio quality and I think the design is very nice. Still, I think there are a few things you should bear in mind before considering buying this set of speakers. First of all, we have the connection to Windows Media Center. Now, this set was designed to go with Windows Media Center and that shines through in every aspect of the set. Uh, the remote in particular is built to control Windows Media Center. If you don't have that, you don't, can't really use all the functions of this and it's quite a big part of the set. So that's a bit of a shame. Secondly, we have the software. Um, now, some might say the software is nice. Uh, still, I think it's a bit uh, clunky and doesn't feel quite finished. Um, it pops up all the time when you adjust the volume and so forth and I think it becomes a bit annoying actually. Um, you can turn that off but every time I restarted my machine it was back up there so that's a bit of a downer as well. Last but not least we have the price. The set is quite expensive. It's 299 euros which I believe is more than most are willing to pay for a 2.1 set. Uh, still, if you're looking for a nice 2.1 set um, great design, decent audio quality, you should definitely consider this.